Hey, Cloudlings. Haven here. You like my new look? Cool, right? Sorry that I keep changing my looks, but this is the last time I'll do it. I promise you. Oh, um, also a quick heads up. You'll probably have already noticed that there are some things happening with the channel, so, like, different profile and all that. I am slowly changing up the way I try to brand myself, so, yeah. Just letting y'all guys know. Small update in case y'all guys get confused. Now, on to the story for today. Being scammed is not fun at all. People get scammed in many different ways, and sadly, some of them we fall for very quickly. I fell for one, sadly, and I should have seen the red flag sooner, but hey, it was a learning lesson. And it did have a happy ending, to, in my opinion. It started about a few months ago, at around 2 in the morning one day. I was half awake scrolling through Instagram on my computer because I was bored and didn't want to draw while tired. I noticed that there was a message notification and checked it out because I don't know why, but sometimes the web version of Instagram for me, it doesn't pick up that I see the notifications on my phone. It will notify me messages I've already seen. When I clicked on the messages, it showed that someone requested to message me for a commission. This was before I stopped doing my headshot commissions permanently. Well, not permanently, but temporarily. They sent the message several days ago, so I immediately texted them back. Also notes that I am on a Discord call with a friend uh, named Red Hatpat. Please, for the love of God, go follow his channel. If you don't, I will stalk you in the walls. Do it. Follow him now. Do it. Okay, good. Thank you. The person messaged me back fairly quickly, and this is how the conversation went from what I can remember. Hi, I'm sorry for responding late. I'll be glad to do a commission for you. What were you looking for? Hello. Yes, I want four commissions. Two of them of my baby son and two of my dogs. All of them fully shaded, please. This is where I stopped the conversation for a second. I had that slight gut feeling that something was completely off, and I checked every social media they had. Yes, I know that sounds iffy, but at that moment it was kind of the only way I could see if they were a legit person. Their Instagram was private. That's odd, but I just thought it was a personal account so only a few people that they want to follow it can follow it, you know? Um, they also had a Facebook account that was an art account, but the art looked like something a kid would draw. Like a son or daughter drawing for fun and showing it to their parents. I think they had another account? Um, if you remember Google+, <laughs> back, in, back when that existed... I think that was another account they had, but I cannot remember. So after I dug around their social medias, I slowly agreed that they were a legit person and went back to messaging them. Of course! I'll be sure to get started on those as soon as possible. Since you're getting four shaded headshots, this will be the price. Will you pay via PayPal or Cash App? Cash App is fine. Would you like me to send the money now? That would be wonderful, yes. Once I'm able to get the money, I'll get started on the commissions for you. I would like to inform you that this is happening at 2am, I'm half awake, my brain is doing the Windows 7 buffering noise, and I was about to end the call and head to bed when they respond back 5 minutes later. <laughs> it was a screenshot of them sending me $300. I beg your pardon? Sir ma'am, the price I gave you was less than 100 what? My brain couldn't even process what I was seeing, and I showed Red the screenshot by the way too, cause I was gonna let him in on this. They had the same reaction. <laughs> However, his reaction was more positive than mine. See, when I saw the screenshot, of course I was happy, and then it switched to me being skeptical. <laughs> because how do you have $300 for art that's barely worth 100 that didn't add up to me. Okay, yes, there are artists that charge a pretty penny for their services, including art, but for mine it was like, the bare minimum. <laughs> this is when I hit the first red flag, cause after they sent a screenshot they said, The money is pending, you will need to send at least 50 bucks to me so you can get the money and I'll send you the 50 back. I was very overwhelmed, 
with emotions and didn't even see that message. After my emotional moment, I proceeded to end the call and go to bed. <laughs> Next morning, I wake up and I check on the any updates about the commission money. It didn't send through. So I went back to the message and I saw what they said, but I was confused. They were sending me money for a commission. Why did I have to send them money? To them, I texted, good morning. I just saw this message, so you're saying I have to send you money in order for me to get the money from you? Correct. My account is a business account, therefore whenever I send you money, you need to give me a bit of it so it will send properly. That was another red flag I hit without realizing. So, little, little technical support fact. When you transfer money to someone on Cash App, personal or business account, they won't ask for you to send money to the person who sent it. It says within the Cash App policies that they will never ever ask for you to send anything, even when you have switched to a business account. Hmm, suspicious. At this time, my mom came in and said good morning. I told her the situation, and her reaction was pretty much the same as mine. She told me to talk to my dad about it since something didn't sound right about it, and I was going to be hanging out with my dad today, so I was It'll be giving me a chance. Ugh, it words. <laughs> These messages went on for hours with this one person, and I very slowly caught on to them being a bit pushy and trying to rush me into sending the money. Another red flag. <laughs> this whole incident happened within 2 a.m. to around 1 p.m.? Maybe later? So I was still very tired and I had that mindset of getting the money, doing the art for them, they like the art, happily ever after. That clearly didn't happen. Small time skip, I'm in the car with my dad and I already told him the situation, what's going on, yada yada such and such. We go through a drive through for some restaurant that we, that we wanted to go to and he sees me utterly confused and zoned in on my phone. When I told him what was going on, he asked to see my phone, so I handed it to him. Just a scroll or two later, he said. Haven, you're getting scammed. You know that, right? What do you mean? We went to a park and he showed me the signs. One of them he pointed out that the spelling in some of the screenshots weren't accurate, and how the way they typed a message out is something you would see if the company actually was texting you. Ladies, gents, non-binary tents, red flag, number, I don't know anymore. <laughs> the Insta person tried to get me to get money from my family to send to them, and that's when my dad told me to immediately stop and let him take over. He ended up sending a kinda lengthy message about them scamming a young artist and sending a picture of him being <laughs> very serious. I'm not gonna show you it, but... Here, have a funnier meme version of it. <laughs> After all of that, he handed the phone back and I screenshotted every part of the conversation, just in case I needed proof so I can try to get my money back. We called Cash App support. They never answered. Thanks, Cash App. So we called my bank about it. Thankfully, they were able to help me out and get a bit of my money back, but not all of it. Yes, I know it's sad I didn't get all of it, back, but I was just relieved that I got at least a little bit back after this entire situation. Cause good god, emotional roller coaster. Ye. <laughs> I did skip a few things in the story, however they were very minor and it wasn't really part of the main problem. <laughs> After the whole situation, my mom did try to get me to call the bank to see if I can get all of my cash back, but I was already tired and over it. A portion of it was enough to keep me sane and make me have the good rest of my day. Please, 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 for the love of God, read carefully when things like this happen. If you have a bad feeling and not sure if you should risk it, either go speak to someone about it, or just don't take the risk at all. People around my age, higher and lower, have been caught in scams as simple as this, and it can happen anywhere. For all the young artists, if you do get this far in the video and are hearing this, please go talk to a parent or someone you trust about this type of stuff. That hard-earned money you got from your commissions and 
making a name for yourself, that could be gone in an instant if you don't take precautions and you don't see the bad signs. I was lucky enough to get some of my money back. Sometimes you probably won't be able to get it back at all. Thank you guys for watching this video and listening to me tell the story. Don't forget to hit that very sparkly subscribe button and go hit red sparkly subscribe button. You know you want to. It's very sparkly and red. <coughs> Anyways, and if you want to, hit that notification bell so you can know when I make videos again. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye